Brody, um, I seen that, you know, I seen you had got locked up on some charges or something like that, right? So can you talk to me about that a little bit? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I had, like, the case still open and stuff right here, so... If it's open, you don't got to talk about it, nah, you know Nah, nah, I mean? nah, shit, I mean, I'm innocent, like, you know, like, I come, like, I'm, when I was staying downtown, bro, you know what I'm saying, like, dude tried to, like, come up and try to rob me or whatever, but... Happenly, bro, like somebody ended up like just walking outside, like they was finna just leave. So he ended up turning his head. So when he turned his head, I struck, like, you know, cause I already had on me. So I struck, boom, hit him. So when I hit him, he started running. So when he ran, so when he ran, I don't know where he ran. He just ran off. So when I'm coming outside, I just see, I see the police coming to me, hamming me up. And and then I'm trying to explain to them what's going on. That was like that I that I uh, assaulted somebody. I aggravated assaulted somebody. So I'm like, okay, who? So when I'm looking, I see him, the dude, mm-hmm. with the stove clerk at the stove. So I'm like, damn. Like I'm like, damn. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying, nigga? Like you know, I ain't say nothing. Like I ain't tell the police nothing or nothing like that. Like what what went down? But it shit is just like shit. I'm on a case for self defense, and the mm-hmm. nigga know that, and he cooperating with them. Wait, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. So the the dude who try to get you, you defend yourself as a man, and then he runs to the police and cooperates with the police. Is he, that what he cooperating with the ass? Bro, what the bro, y'all, y'all did y'all hell, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, man. It, it, it's funny, bro. And I like when I got locked up, I bun it out. So, like, when I'm talking to, like, my lawyer and shit, I'm like, hey, bro, nigga, try to rob me, bro. You know what I'm saying? He was like, well, say that. I'm like, nah, I shouldn't have to. You know what I'm saying? Like, he he should be saying that shit. But they like, nah, he he ain't saying that. He's saying, like, that you just, he ain't did nothing, you did. So I'm like, okay. So months to come out, like, through the thing, they get the footage from the stove. You know what I'm saying? Like, the footage from the stove. So they just see him running up to the motherfucker, like, to the stove. So they ain't they so that's where we still at. So I'm like, bro, nigga try. So I'm hoping that he just be a real nigga. I hope that he watching this interview just to be a real nigga. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, like, you know what's going on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, just nigga, you know what's going on, bro. And, like, and, bro. and come on, bro, like, like, come on, bro. If you doing something, man, you need to be already ready for it. when it turns left. Come on, man! Like you, you run into the police. Like what the fuck? Right? Yeah. That, that, like that, you should already been ready for that, man. And look, at that point, then that's when I felt like that the like like that the streets undefeated. You know what I'm saying? Like I was just like, bro, look, you know that's what made me just go on to a different journey. Like I was like, hey, look, you know what? Fuck this. Like you know what I'm saying? Like like that what made me just like okay, I'm finna do something different. So that's when I had switched it up. I went. Blank on social media, nobody seen me or nothing like that. Mm-hmm. And then came out with a new persona, like, okay, this this what it is, bro, because the streets undefeated. Like it's like you, it ain't no winning any hoes. So you think, okay, okay, let's talk about it. So you think right now, you feel like the streets is undefeated. You feel like, you feel like the street, the streets is still, the streets is still undefeated right now. Right. Yeah. It, you ain't winning. Like, mm-hmm. like it ain't winning. Like you can come up, you can come up like a hundred, two hundred thousand. Like, you know, if you keep going down that road, eventually, like, you got these traps in the, it's going to be the bitch going to come for you or set you up or one of your partners going to snitch or you're going to get robbed or it's just, it's just going to go that way. So the only way is the, like, the only way that you can beat it is kind of stop and go get a company. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's why I tell people in Dallas, it's so, it's so much of a lot of people that got money. Like, Dallas, mm-hmm. like, in the streets, got money. But the thing is, they rather keep doing that than to sign the person that's sitting right next to them that that go hard in the motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. so, it ain't too much of CEO mentality. Mm-hmm. So that that's where we getting stuck at, like just getting rich straight off of bat. Man, that's that's a crazy situation. Even your situation, man. I give you your flowers because you know the whole situation you just told me. Like that's that's fucking crazy. Y'all out your mind. Like what the fuck? And it's crazy because the most.